we were to look at my project right now, it has the test py file in it. Great. Okay. So now we're going to ask, uh, now we're going to have Alice um, contribute. Uh, actually, we can have Alice, we can run the command first and we'll see. Okay, so Alice is going to contribute for us um, the readme and uh, community standards. Right, so here's the contribute, or sorry, she's going to contribute the contributing file and the readme. Okay, great. So, um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and run this command down here in the debugging to go ahead and delete both of those pull requests now because we're going to do uh, another thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extend Alice, right? So we're going to have Alice contribute the code of conduct file. All right, so then we basically just do our find and replace um, on that file. So we copy from an existing overlay. So from the readme overlay, we do a find and replace. We find and replace everything that's readme in the various title fully uppercase or fully lowercase in code of conduct, right? And then we go ahead and we add um, the overlay code of conduct to the list of installed overlays um, when recommended community standards is run, right? So anytime the recommended community standards flow is executed and the installed overlays are not overridden, then we'll see code of conduct loaded from the code of conduct file. Okay, so uh, then yeah, this is just showing us that and then we need to add um, so we also need to add um, to the um, entry points file the definition of the um, overlays which should be applied to the code of conduct flow itself right and so those are overlay getting overlay github to help it figure out some branches and stuff and so that code is in there and you should take a look at that code Right, so you should take a look at the code and Alice, please contribute recommended community standards. That's basically where all the code lives. So at this point, now we can run the reinstall on Alice and we can ask her to uh, contribute the recommended community standards again. So now we need to be aware that uh, she is operating as our account right now. Um, so when you're using GH, uh, she's, she's signed in as you, right? So let's see, what are the pull requests saying? So code of conduct, okay, look at that. Right, and then the readme, okay. So here is the code of conduct.md. All right, so now we could go and we could change those files. So if we wanted to, we could go in here, right? And code of conduct's contents, right? So we could say, code of conduct, right? So let's just, we'll, Okay, and now we can close this off again. We can run it again. And we should see that the code of conducts, uh, the contents of that code of conduct that's being contributed has changed. All right. So, and then the contributing, uh, the Alice contribution docs, um, here, so come on. Oh yeah, that's right, GitHub is being slow. We got a few seconds of goodness. Okay, so this is running, create contributing file access. This is stuck on here. It's probably stuck on some GitHub operation that's in progress. Um, okay, so this, then in the contributing docs themselves, it goes over writing uh, oh, like just random little overlays. And so uh, this is like, you know, hey, if I wanted to read from a config file, how would I do that, right? So you could then, okay, so let's go check out our pull request, code of conduct, right? So now we see it says code of conduct, okay. And so there's other stuff that you can do where you can add inputs one off. Um, Okay, wait, I added that after the help. Okay, so repos. Okay, so this doesn't support adding overlays as one offs. Yeah, you have to install them. Okay. Um, all right, okay, so that's great. So that is our Alistar open source guide. All right, so now we can also list uh, from here just to see. Okay, yep, there they are.
Sweet. Okay, so there's our contribution. So now you can extend Alice, you know, following this methodology um, to, uh, to contribute arbitrary files, right? And so you can also, you know, maybe inspect the context, the contents, or look at auxiliary sources of information uh, by following similar, you know, this writing operations within the contributing. Uh, and then going beyond that, there's also, you know, the should I and, and the metastatic analysis tutorial where we talk about uh, writing should I, which is the stuff that's currently used in just the scraping without the proactive contribution. Uh, and then there's the extension of should I, which talks about overlays a little more.